What's going on everyone? It's James aka The Comic Raider. Uh, back again with another haul video. This one's going to be a little different than some of the other ones I've done. Um, for whatever reason the last couple months I've just been picking up toys and action figures and all kinds of crap. So I've been saving them all up. Going to do a big haul video. I know I had a bunch of spawn stuff in that last A1 video. Um, so this is kind of like an add-on to that plus a bunch of new ones. So uh, we're going to get set up here and I'll just go one by one and we'll show them all off. Let's get a good shot here. That should work. Uh, so first up, uh, these are some recent ones. I, I picked this one up last night. Uh, the Mr. Freeze pop figure from the Batman and Robin movie. Um, this is definitely a nostalgia piece for me, a nostalgia movie. Um, you know, it has a special place in my heart, but I will say I, I personally liked the design, uh, and I do think that this pop is pretty badass, and I haven't seen it. I made a stop at Walgreens for some medicine and, uh, ended up finding this, so that was not bad. Um, next up, totally random piece. We've got a rock action figure that I got from A1 Comics during one of their, uh, live sales. Um, for whatever reason, he's got the stone cold vest on though, but, uh, you know, couldn't pass up on the rock. Definitely a big fan, so I couldn't let that one go. Um, segue into a franchise that he's a part of. I picked this up from work. This one actually was on my page, my Instagram page already, but we've got a Fast and the Furious Hot Wheels set, uh, including the Skyline. And then it lists the movies that all of them were featured in. So that was a pretty cool set. Definitely got it for the Skyline. Um, some more new pickups. These ones actually were from today. Made a stop to Walgreens. Or not Walgreens, I'm sorry, Target. And uh, happened to pick up this Halloween 2. Uh, I do have the Halloween number 1. Or is it the 2018 version? Actually, I'm not sure. I'll have to check. But um, either way, I do like this one. Comes with the uh, bleached hair version. And then uh, also the shot in the eyes version. And the hammer. And uh, yeah, that one's a badass piece. So happy with that. And then... I found this one hidden away. To my knowledge, this one just came out because the Mad Collector uh, also just picked this up. But another Halloween 2 uh, by NECA. Uh, this is uh, real toys. I don't, I'm sure that's probably the line that it comes from. But this one's pretty cool too. More uh, fabric on the uh, clothing there. Also comes with the blood, bloody eye mask and yeah, I like this one. And the hammer, too, of course. So that one's a good piece. Um, let's move on to... Uh, the Spider-Man uh, retro packaging. Uh, Marvel Legends this is the Daredevil battle armor. Uh, I want to say from the 90s. Um, so I picked this one up. This was the only one I pre-ordered. I... I Kind of do want the Spider-Man, but I already have a Marvel Legends Spider-Man, so I didn't really see why I needed to double up. But seeing this one in the package, I thought maybe I'll, if I find one, I'll get one and I'll just leave it in the package. This one I haven't decided if I'll open it up yet, but I just love the packaging of this one and everything. So, that's a cool one. Just got that the other day. Um, let's see. This came from my LCS. Uh... This was a cool Batman DC Collectibles animated from the uh, Justice League cartoon. I, I don't really, I've really tried to stop collecting uh, figures, especially all these Batman ones, because they just come out with way too many now, but that one I saw and just couldn't pass up. Uh, we're going to move on to Spawn now. I went back to A1 and was able to get this one here so tremor packaging is a little dented up on this one um, but I have a use for him later that I will show off then I also picked up 
the clown. And then let's make way for this beast. I mentioned in my last video, oh, see, I got shit falling, people. You know I don't edit, right? I think everyone knows that by now. So damn well I'm not editing that out. Let's just pretend like that never happened. Um, I went back. You knew I had to. I mentioned going back to get this. Uh, this is the uh, Spawn Alley set, so I figure I'll definitely open up Tremor um, since he's already all beat up in the package anyways. So I'll open it up, um, get him displayed on there. This packaging too isn't the greatest, uh, so I don't mind opening it. But yeah, it was definitely one of those things where I really just told myself, look, you've never seen it before. Don't be a punk. Go back and get that. So very happy with this one. So that's kind of how it looks all opened up and everything. So I will get uh, get these bad boys opened up and displayed and see how it looks. Probably need to pick up an extra spawn one now just so I can kind of have him in there too. Uh, moving on. Alright, we are going to segue into Star Wars now. Starting with the... Uh, I mean, I would think this is called, what, the retro packaging. Uh, so this is the Boba Fett. I got this uh, from another LCS here in town. So really happy with that one. It was really cool. I do believe I have the uh, Carbonized uh, coming out here soon. I have that pre-ordered, so looking forward to getting that. Uh, this was a pre-order that came in. We got Obi-Wan Kenobi Jedi Knight version. Number 111. Uh, let's see. We've got uh, Stormtrooper Commander. Uh, this is from uh, the Force Unleashed, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, gaming version. So that one's pretty cool. I like the design. I like the blue. Really pops on that one. <clears throat> then got a matching same line. The Shadow Stormtrooper. That one's another really cool looking one. He's got like the light blue going on. I know I don't have the best lighting, but... Black with a little light blue teal accents to him. Uh, and then this one I just got. Carbonized uh, Stormtrooper. Is this still carbonized? Yeah, carbonized graphite, they call it. Uh, Stormtrooper. That one looks badass. Uh, package is definitely hard to keep in good condition. So if you're able to get it without all scratched up and everything, then good for you. This is actually my first carbonized figure. Oh, see if they don't even have numbers. But yes, very happy with that one. Uh, let's see. Moving on. Uh, let's stick with the theme of gaming here. Boom. Mortal Kombat Spawn. Uh, this came from my brother, uh, Ink to Jedi. I am very, very grateful to him for finding me. This is the target version with the battle axe. Um, you can see here, this was the original version with the sword. Uh, then they came out with a mace version, which I have not been able to find, but I do have it pre-ordered uh, from Big Bad Toy Store, but it's been forever so I don't know when that thing's actually releasing I want to say it was this month so that was technically number two and then this was version number three was the target one. First one was Walmart uh, then the second one I, I don't know if it went everywhere or whatever but I know that the second one was supposed to be uh, just to keep them going then they made the third target version with the axe 
And then I saw the other day they did some signed ones that I missed out on. That was a bummer. Uh, let's see. Next up. This one's pretty cool. Uh, while I do not listen to the Misfits, I appreciate them. I appreciate The Fiend. Um, I love our club standing behind it. Um, the logo and everything like that. So I could not pass this up. This is by NECA. And uh, yeah, this thing was just too cool. They did have the red version as well. Uh, but I passed on that one. I just wanted the this one. I think we could probably work out a pretty nice custom there. I don't know, figure out a way to get a vest on them and all that. But yeah, that one was pretty cool. Um, moving on. We're going to now skip over to DC. Uh, these multiverse. So the multiverse figures, um, I was passing on at first. I just, I'm a huge McFarlane fan and I'm a huge DC fan. But again, like I said, I tried to stop collecting figures. Um, but the more and more I saw these, I just could not pass it up. So I'm actually going to bring out both these side by side. So we've got uh, Joker and then Batman from the White Knight storyline. So these are pretty cool. I really, really like. I mean, I like them both, but I love the design of uh, Sean Murphy's art on... Uh, is it Sean Murphy? Gordon? I don't even remember. Sean Murphy? Whatever. I apologize for getting that shit wrong. But um, anyways, that guy, his art on uh, Batman here looks really, 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 really good. So I was definitely very happy with that one. Boom. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, next up. Uh, just the uh, regular Batman version. I'm telling you, I've seen this one a hundred times and just kept passing on it and passing on it. Um, and then finally, as I started collecting some of the other ones, I was like, forget it, I'll just freaking do it. So, just to kind of have it at this point. I wasn't a huge fan of the torso. Um, also, at first, I wasn't a huge fan of the fact that they were different scale than Marvel Legends. Um, you know, for me, it was kind of like as a kid, when I was growing up and playing with the action figures... You always liked them to be the same size, so it made more sense in my head to have them battling. So if I wanted, you know, my Marvel Legends Spider-Man to go up against Batman, why does Batman have to be, like, hella taller? And so I wasn't a huge fan of that, but, you know, I still like these figures anyways. They're pretty badass. So did finally bite the bullet and get that one. This one I knew I was going to get from the very beginning. Could not pass up on the Hellbat. Um, goes very well with the... Uh, see if I can get my damn finger right there. Uh -huh, is the uh, Superman from the Unchained um, that I know I've shown off before. So these two uh, go very well together. Um, this is, like I said, the Hellbat suit that uh, Batman designed to go down and uh, save Damien. Uh, it also, like, damn near costed him his life to be in it. Um, but, you know, the things we'll do for our kids, right? So, that one was a must-have. Uh, let's see. This one I couldn't find for the longest time. I thought I'd never really have a chance at it. And then, I don't remember. Oh, I ended up ordering this one, uh from GameStop, I think, actually. Oh, and then I go to my LCS, the, the like, two days later, and I see him there, and I'm like, God damn it. But, anyways, it's all right. I got a sale at the GameStop one. So, uh, Batman Who Laughs, this guy should need no introduction. Um, this was also the Build-A-Figure to the Batmobile, which I actually saw, like, a collected version. They had a Batmobile that was already put together. Um, I don't think it's the same Batmobile, but that thing was badass, but I was like, I can't do it. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. But anyways, Batman Who Laughs. I mean, how can't... You just can't get enough of this guy. So this one's pretty cool. And then 
last, yeah, this is it. This is it. Last one. Uh, Joker uh, from the Arkham games. Uh, so technically Arkham Asylum. Uh, I do need to just find the Batman one. Oddly enough, I went down to Best Buy to get some uh, camera accessories. And I didn't even realize that they, or remembered that they even had a toy section. But thought, let me walk down there real quick. And sure enough, this is where he was at. This is actually also where I saw that uh, Batmobile that I was just talking about. But saw him and I was like, oh shit, that's hella that cool. Because I was about to pre-order him. So... Uh, now I just need to hunt down the Batman version from the game because because I gotta have him too. I highly doubt this is gonna focus. See how I'm doing so good right there, the first one you see. But anyways, uh, what do you guys think of these McFarlane lines? I mean, I love them. Um, they're they're hit or miss, you know. Like I said, I passed on that original Batman one many many times. Um, there's a few coming out that I know I have to get. I want to say that they're making a Red Hood and a Deathstroke, if I'm not mistaken. Those will be instant cops. Um, the Devastator, because uh, I'm a huge Doomsday fan, and I definitely did appreciate the Devastator from uh, the DC Metal line. So that'll be another must-have. Um, I'm not really sure. I know there's a couple flashes, but I think I could pass on those. So... But uh, yeah, I, I, I like a lot of these. So like I said, my only issue at first was really just the scale. Um, but they do have some really cool packaging. And then, you know, you can't beat the little McFarlane there. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of the haul. Um, like I said, it's a pretty nice mix. We've got, we had DC, we had Star Wars, uh, we had Pop Figures, we had Hot Wheels, Halloween. Uh, just everything, a little bit of everything, freaking damn, let me, let me, let me, let me bust this thing out again real quick, because I know you're never going to see this again, I shouldn't say never, but come on now, who do you know that has one of these, for reals, man, love it, uh, anyways, that'll do it for me until the next time, um, I know I have some more uh, Star Wars figures coming out that I've pre-ordered from GameStop, and uh, other than that, it'll just be hunting down the uh, DC ones that uh, come out. So, but a lot of these were impulse buys too, so you never know. But anyways, that'll do it for me. Uh, thank you all for watching, and stay tuned. Uh, don't forget like, comment, subscribe, all that. Uh, and like I said, stay tuned for a bunch more videos we got. I got haul videos coming. Uh, of comic books and all kinds of stuff. So keep watching, people. We appreciate you.